What's good YouTube? It's your boy Vega and today we're going to be talking about the Fear of God Essentials short sleeve sweatshirt in the dark heather oatmeal. Now first things first, I have a defective sweatshirt. So you, you, you'll see what I'm talking about when I get into the review because it is very clear. This is one of those situations where I almost didn't make this video but i took it like when life gives you lemons you make lemonade so i took it i took it like that so I'm, i made a positive thing out of it and at the end the sizing doesn't change the color doesn't change so it is a good opportunity for you guys out there just in case you're interested in one of these pieces like i always do on all my reviews i'll talk about the sizing I'll talk about the quality and my personal thoughts, of course. But with that out of the way, let's get right into the video. So let's go ahead and start with the dust bag. There's people that care about that kind of stuff. So I want to review the whole thing. I want to give you the whole experience. Feel me? So we got the dust bag right here. It is in a black frosted type of color. It's a little bit darker than the other drops. I guess we keep on getting darker every drop. But yeah, let's go ahead and go over the skew just in case you are interested in uh, this piece specifically and you know how to look it up at least that's how you do it we got this in a dark oatmeal at least that's what it says on the label the skew number is one nine two b as in boy t as in tom two one two zero zero three f as in frank and i got this in a size large now as far as sizing stay tuned because i will be talking about sizing and sizing is a little tricky with this piece right here so stay tuned for that let's go ahead and talk about the defect really quick because it is that obvious and i'm going to turn it over to my top camera right there that way you can see the whole thing what am I missing right now? Give you a couple of seconds. I'm missing my one, bruh. I bought a 1977 sweatshirt, not 977. Your boy paid for a 1977. I got 977, so I feel like Paxson cheated me on the price because if I'm missing a one, like give me a discount, you feel me? Like give me a discount. So let's talk about the uh, sweatshirt itself. I feel that it looks very unique. Let's just say that. As far as the color, it is a dark heather oatmeal. I'm not a big fan of this color. This is actually my first dark heather oatmeal piece. And I feel that it looks like a dark gray that it's dirty. It hasn't been washed for a couple of years. That's what the color looks like. I normally like the oatmeal color, but in a lighter hue. And it's because the grays and the tans together look good because it is a little bit lighter but when you have such a darker gray and then you add this like oatmeal creamish color it just looks a little bit dirty that's just my opinion but as far as the sweatshirt itself of course it is short sleeve which is the reason why i like it especially since i live in florida i wanted to rock something a little bit different than just the hoodies and jackets i just wanted something like this the uh, little waistband at the bottom just like a hoodie and then in the back we have a fear of god essentials rubber tab right there and that is pretty much it as far as branding of course in the front you should have 1977 not 977 but that's pretty much that as far as sizing is concerned i think that this fits a little bit weird so let's talk about sizing really quick. I'm gonna give you a couple of sizing examples that I get on other brands. That way this can probably help you out a little bit more. So on Nike, Adidas, H&M, Paxson, I normally get a size XL. Now, this is what I like to get on my tops. Can I get away with a size large on some of these brands for my tops? Absolutely. However, I like to have a little bit more room, so I get a size XL. Now on Fear of God Essentials, I size down one size. So I normally get a size large on my tops. That includes t-shirts, hoodies, jackets, and also this piece. This is a size large and I still recommend that you size down for this piece as well. However, it fits a little bit weird and this is just gonna be my opinion on certain areas of the sweatshirt. So let's start off with the top portion right here. Me, for example, I have broad shoulders. So I fill this area very quickly. Now, as far as the sleeves, in my opinion, the sleeves fit, you know, pretty good. They don't fit bad. I feel that this piece overall fits me 
okay it, 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 but it's not great and i want this piece to fit me great especially if i'm paying 80 bucks you, you get what i'm saying so on the chest area right here on my 977 chest <laughs> I feel that the chest area on the sides looks a little bit more baggy. Now, on hoodies, this is okay, but on this piece, I feel that this area right here should have been tapered. And then the other area that starts going down should have been more flowy. That way we have more of a flow on the piece instead of more of a V shape. But again, this is not a hoodie. So we could have maybe gotten a sweatshirt that was a little bit more tapered in the chest area and then more flow. I don't know if that makes sense, but you guys let me know in the comment section. Does this look good on me? Is it decent? Either way, I'm not keeping this uh, 977 sweatshirt and I feel that I'm not going to get another one. So I'm not really sure if this is going to be another, if I'm going to get another piece just like this one. So that's that for sizing hopefully that helps out so just size down one size and you should be good to go that's pretty much it for today's video i hope you found it informative and entertaining i feel that this is definitely one of those videos at least for me that when life gives you lemons you make lemonade that's how it feels this 977 sweatshirt you're not gonna get that number but at least you got to learn about the sizing of the sweatshirt. At least you got to learn how the Dark Heather Oatmeal looks like. At least you got to learn about the overall feel. So just for that alone, just for that alone, help your boy out. Help your boy out. If you found any kind of value, go ahead and subscribe. Smash the like button. It really does mean a lot. Also hit that bell. That way you get notified every single time I drop a video. And if you're not doing so, follow me on Instagram at Carlos Vega. 101 i'm always updating the date and time of my videos um recently i've been creating like these reels about my supra because if you don't know i drive a supra and i like my car so yeah i've been doing that as well with that being said thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace